All right, guys, today we got an interesting one here, and I think it's going to be good to show you how to look at all the symptoms together before you make a diagnostic decision. We've got a 2013 Hyundai Elantra, brakes caught fire. Let's get into it. So here's what we've got. Hyundai came in, and the symptoms were my front brakes caught on fire. That's what the client stated. So we bring the car in, we got it on the rack, come take a look. This guy has gotten some kind of hot. When you see that color, and I know you all know that, when you see that kind of color, you know that thing's gotten hot. You can't really see it on the video, but this is real rough right here. These pads are gonna be toast at this point. So 100% we know that they have gotten hot. Now, here's the deal. Is it one side, you know, maybe caliper, hose? Let's go look at the other side. We do a complete inspection. That's, you know, we always gotta pull all the wheels off when we got a brake inspection. Don't just do one, you know, a lot of times I hear people doing one corner, one corner, even on a normal brake inspection. All four wheels have to come off to do a brake inspection because you never know which one's bound up or causing a problem, even a normal brake inspection. But this guy, hot too, same thing, same exact thing. This thing has been smoking hot. I don't know about fire, um, but, cameraman just almost tripped over a dog so uh, I don't know about fire but because the tires and everything aren't on fire didn't didn't melt and, and you know this is a this is a, a thing that can happen sometimes you see a car on the side of the road you know we've got a barbecue going on and uh, it could be that the brakes caught on fire caught the tire on fire or brakes got so hot the wheel got so hot the tire caught on fire and that thing's gonna go up in flames so um, Came to the back just to look. You know, hard to say. It looks like just normal rust, but it may have bound up just a little bit. Um, nothing is bound up now, by the way. I guess I should have stated that. Nothing is bound up right now. Everything's turning normally. So this one, maybe we're going to pull that apart and just look at the pads. Same other thing. The other side is the same exact way. Um, so looks the same. I mean. It rained, that's why it's rusty like that. It's working, you know, we get a lot of rain, so when it happens, it rusts. So, all right, so brakes, we know the front brakes were locked up. We 100% know that. Uh, client had something with fire or heat, something. But let's look at the overall picture because now we gotta figure out why I did both front wheels lock up. So we're not gonna have both calipers bad. We're not gonna have both hoses bad. Definitely got bad calipers now and bad hoses now. We're not going to reuse those. Those have been so hot. That we are, it's going to get front brakes. It's going to get front hoses because the, the heat has been tremendous, and I'm, we're not taking a chance there, obviously. But I don't think that that is the, is the root cause of the problem. If you have a master cylinder issue, an analog brake module or, or you know, um, hydraulic valve assembly issue, maybe. But there's other symptoms here that were not mentioned that we've seen since the car has been in here. If you notice on the battery, come on, take a look. And we don't have a fender cover on here for some reason. I, I don't know that why that is at this point. Because uh, they just put the booster back on and now we're gonna get handed the fender cover and hit the car with it. That's good, thanks. So, um, so the battery's dead in this car. Battery came in, battery's dead. Had to be boosted. Okay, maybe that's just because the car, who knows? I mean, the battery is, you know, I don't know how old that battery is. The state date's not stamped on it, so it's old enough to have a date stamp on it. I don't know if they still do that. That's a Napa legend. I don't know if they still do that with the batteries or not at Napa. I haven't, I haven't seen a date stamp on one in quite a few years. Um, but I don't know how old the battery is. It's just, just bad because they towed it in over the weekend and it sat a couple of days. I don't know. But it is part of the symptom. Battery's dead. So we boost the, boost the car off. Second, second symptom. The car will start without pushing the brake. So if it shouldn't start without pushing the brake, it's a push button start. So that's the second symptom. Let's see, show you the third symptom. We got rear brake lights on, nobody's in there pushing the brakes right now. This is why the battery's bad, or battery's dead. Um, probably bad at this point, unfortunately, because um, it's been drained to nothing. So. We've got brake lights sticking on. So what's everybody going to right now? I know you, a lot of you are saying it right now. We're going to the brake light switch. Okay, so let's come on into the brake light switch. Um, I think what we're, let me take the camera in. I'm not the best at this, so might be some editing in this when I get 
bumping around in here, guys. So, here's the brake light switch right here. All right? And this little white piece right here, unfortunately, is in the way. It's not the brake uh, plunger. Brake, it's a little bit further. And I don't know that I'm going to be able to get you to see that and do what I need to do. I'll try. So, unfortunately, the plunger, you can see it, is right here. So I'm moving the plunger. Okay. But when I got in here, and it's not, it fell now. But let's see if we can find it. Uh, you could see. There was a little piece, sorry guys, there's a little piece of plastic back here. And you could tell that it was part of the, the little uh, plastic <laughs> insert that goes into the brake pedal. And you know, I know you guys have seen these things. We can see it's missing. There it is right there. There it is. It just fell. I'll take it out and show you guys when we get out of here. So, right, you guys can see that hole in the brake pedal lever, right? It's supposed to have an insert in it to push against the, the um, brake light switch plunger, all right? And that's broken. I don't know why manufacturers do that. I, you know, I try to think engineers have a reason for everything. I don't know, understand why they just don't make that a solid metal plate. Uh, maybe they think the plate's gonna wear out over years of use and, you know, easier to replace a plunger. Here's the piece that fell. I was showing you guys that was kind of stuck up behind that that little plate that pushes the uh, that's got the hole in it for the plunger and I think this was part of the plunger so uh, now here's the thing uh, why how can this cause the front brakes to to bind up so did a little research and evidently it can happen on these cars that that um, brake pedal switch the, the, I'm sorry brake brake light switch can bind up or come out of adjustment and cause the brakes to stay engaged. So I think that what happened was, I think that switch is either out of adjustment or, um, or binding at times. You know, you saw me move it, it's not binding right now. But I think that that's happened and it engaged the brakes, brakes got hot, it was pushing against the pedal and I think it finally, I think that that little plastic insert, I mean it's 11 years old at this point, I think it broke, which then let the, the brake light switch release, the, the pedal was able to release, release the brakes. Then we had the secondary symptoms, which is the brake light switch, uh, the brake lights being stuck on, battery going dead, being able to start it with no, with no uh, brake pedal depression. So I think that the beginning of this thing was the brake light switch has probably failed and caused the brakes to bind up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, put a push pin in it and see if the brakes lock up. Now, if they don't, I'm probably still gonna, gonna condemn that brake light switch. I, I just feel like for the price of a brake light switch, maybe we don't take a chance. Uh, but let me go get a push pin. Come on, let's go upstairs and we'll get a push pin. Don't trip over the... So you can see we've got tons of different little trays from Sauce metal and worth that um, just have all kinds of different little knickknacky stuff. Just because this is the kind of stuff that will will cause you to bind, you know, get stuck. You know, a, a 50 cent thing will cause you to be not uh, waiting around for a few hours. So let me get a little piece to put in there. So basically, I know this isn't a factory piece for this vehicle. I get it, but I feel like that'll probably go in, um, get in the hole be fine. All I'm looking for is something that that, that, that uh, you know, the pin on the brake pedal switch can, you know, push against. So I'm going to see if this will go in there and then we're going to see if the front brakes um, bind up once we depress the brake pedal. You can see I've got it in. Okay. And so now we'll see if the brake lights go out. Brake lights are off. Uh, we know that the, we're going to have to push the brake pedal down to start the vehicle. Let's see if the brakes are locking up now when, we, uh, when we're off the brake pedal. So I'm going to depress the brake pedal. All right, just 
no car run and just see what we'll do. And it may or may not be bound up. Let's find out. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely tighter. It's definitely tighter than it was. So, yeah, I, I, I'm thinking we've, <laughs> I'm thinking the problem is that brake light switch. Now, you know, somebody will say, well, that thing does turn, and I'm turning it with my hand. Um, it should turn a lot easier than that, and it was turning easier than that. So, um, and, and I think we've got the symptoms figured, I think we've got this thing figured out. We got the brake light switch causing a brake pedal to stay depressed just ever so slightly. It does not take much, guys. This, you know, if that thing just, the brake pads just, just a little bit of friction there, drive this thing down the road, it's gonna get hot. And then as it gets hotter and hotter, it's gonna expand and it's gonna get hotter and hotter and hotter. Um, for those of you that have dealt with rear drum brakes, you know, if we adjust rear drum brakes, we get them a little too tight, you drive those things down the road, they may turn just a little bit, they may feel okay in the bay. You take them down the road, you go a couple miles, you know, three or four miles, it doesn't take long at all because they're, they're, if they're too snug, they get hot, they expand, and all of a sudden your rear brakes are locked up. Get it towed in, not locked up anymore because they've cooled off. So the, if those of you who don't dealt with rear drum brakes know that. Same principle here. If these things are just binding just a little bit, uh, causing a little bit of friction, and they're bound because the brake light switch is holding them off, you know, holding that pedal down just a little bit, then um, all of a sudden we get some heat building up, more heat building up, expansion, more heat building up, expansion, more heat building up. Next thing you know, the things are locked up and we've got problems. So, so I think we've got this one taken care of. I think we've got all the, all the answers here. Um, you know, I think this is the reason we did this video. It seems like a break video, like, oh, you know, I think this is really good because it shows a proper diagnostic path, right? As opposed to going in and seeing brakes locked up and all of a sudden just throwing all the brake parts at it. Oh, it's brakes are locked up. Let's put calipers on it. Let's put hoses on it, you know, rotors on it. It's going to need all that. 100% it's going to need all that. But that's not going to fix the problem, right? We need to know what caused that to happen to begin with. And, you know, that's why I preach about going down the right path, you know. If we don't want to, you know, go down a rabbit hole. It's my big thing that I always tell everybody. We don't want to go down a rabbit hole, put front brakes on it, then it stays binding up, right? Take the thing down the road, it's still bound up. And then you're, then all of a sudden you're trying to figure out what's going on, throwing more parts at it. And it's just a, you know, it's a bad place to be. Um, in this case, I really like this because it was something kind of unusual, right, causing this issue, and but not difficult, right? So if we take all the symptoms into account, hey, let's go to that brake light switch. So anyway, I hope this helped. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and uh, hit that notification bell, let, you know, so you know every time we release, uh, release a video. Of course, you gotta hit subscribe before you hit the notification bell. So hit that subscribe button. Uh, we really appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.